told you this wouldn't just go away. What's happened? Well, has Wilson spoken about the Nyla murder again? No, but he's spoken to Tess, uh, trying to find out if there's anything sinister going on between me, Philby and Jason. And what did she say? That there wasn't, as far as she knew. Then there's no problem, right? Of course there's a problem. Obviously, Wilson doesn't believe the story we told him, and if he keeps sniffing around, he might just find out the truth. Well, it's not going to happen, Beck. Not if we stick to our story. Well, what about the PI that Deborah hired? Can we stop her from finding out? Are you kidding? A PI? Tess said that Deborah was frustrated the police aren't getting anywhere, and she wants to get involved. Look, we'll deal with that when and if we have to, all right? I'm scared, Jared. I don't know, just... If we stay calm and stick to what we said, everything's going to be fine. All right? Good. Sorry. You're right. Rebecca Coulter? Detective. Hi. Uh, what's it about? I'm actually quite busy this afternoon. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll see you soon. So he wants to talk to you again? Okay, seriously, just... It's the story. I know. It's the only way we can get away with this, Beck. Thanks for coming in. You really didn't give me much choice in the matter. Take a seat. Is there anything I can get you? A coffee or water? Oh, I'm fine. Look, can we just cut to the chase? There's really nothing more I can tell you. My colleague here, Constable Webster, has been making some inquiries for me. Apparently, you had a meeting with the medical board this morning and received an official caution. And? What's that got to do with you? Well, when you have a history of using incapacitating drugs on people, that has a lot to well, do I'd with Well, I'd hardly us. say it was a history. Is that what you did to Philip McManus the night he was murdered? Oh, of course not. But you regularly carry incapacitating drugs in your medical bag, even though they're not a typical inclusion. I like to be prepared. For what? Dr. Quilter. I don't know how many other ways I can tell you. I was not involved in what happened to Philby. The incident that happened a couple of weeks ago is completely irrelevant to this case. So unless you have something remotely sensible to speak to me about, then I think we're done. Well, that certainly put some pressure on her. Yeah, the big question is, what's she going to do now? Feel like a little surveillance? They're together. Well, what a surprise. What are they doing? Just talking. She looks upset. She must have been really rattled earlier on. I know she'd go running straight to O'Donnell. Come on, keep watching. Sir. Uh, no, 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 no. Bring him in. Bring him in. Something's just come up. What's going on now? Why the hell are we being followed? In here. This is verging on harassment, Detective. Take a seat. The parking fine you received outside this station a week or so ago was paid for in cash. The same marked cash that was given to Philip McManus on the night he was murdered. Sorry? Well, don't look so surprised. You paid for the fine. No, I didn't. I've already told you I don't know anything about a parking fine. You've told me a lot of things, Dr Quilter, most of which have turned out to be untrue. I don't know anything about a parking ticket and I certainly didn't pay for it with any marked cash. Now you've got to believe me, I'm telling the truth. I'll believe you when I start getting some answers. Answers about the email, answers about what you two are conspiring about now, all of it. Otherwise, I could charge both of you with murder. Neither of us know anything. That's so what... rubbish. You two are withholding information and I want to know what it is. For the hundredth time! I want the truth behind the email. What's this great secret known only to you, Philby and Jason? I explained all of that. Where did you get the Mark Bills to pay for that I didn't fine? have any Mark Bills. What are you and Jared conspiring about? Nothing! We're not conspiring! Has it got something to do with your family? Is that it? Is it your daughter? 
leave my daughter out of this. You get really angry when you talk about well, her. Well, you're damn right I do. You're angry enough to kill? No! Did you help him cover it up? Is that what it is? She doesn't even know about so Or did you kill him yourself and then have to call on your ex-boyfriend to clean up your mess? Neither of us killed him, all right? Stop it, okay, both of you. I'll tell you. Beck. No, Jared, I can't do this anymore. I didn't kill Philby. Neither did Jared. But I did witness a murder. I'll tell you everything. 